Hello guys. Today, sorry, Taylor wanted to get on my nerves today. So I'm back. Anyway, it's August. So you know what that means? October. Get it? <laughs> I am weird. I have a Halloween obsession. So what we're doing today to make me, you know, get some more serotonin going. She don't even know how to decorate. <laughs> we're gonna decorate for Halloween. She doesn't even know how to decorate. <laughs> So our first prospect here is the Will You Be Mine from last year when Taylor asked me to be his girlfriend. And then we have this new friend from Home Goods. And he lights up and he's real cute. Then we have all of this, which I keep year round, but it's Halloween technically. This is so dirty. <laughs> but it's a boo squishmallow. And I feel like he'll just chill right up there real cute. Um, Taylor was not lying when he said that I'm not the best, um, decorator in the world, but I have fun, don't we? I got these little bags last year from, um, Target. Yeah, Target. Yeah, Target. Yeah, Target. Yeah, Target. And I just put my little Halloween plushies in them and then hang them from the door and it's so cute. Like little vampire Mickey, are you kidding? Door, all cute like that. But that's gonna be annoying, so I'm gonna put it on the other door that we don't ever use. So cute. Then I have a Snoopy one, which I'm going to put over here on our closet door. Hello. Hey, dude. I love I love it then we have boo which I stole from my mother I don't know where my mom got this but I've literally had it since I was born and I love boo we're gonna put him on this window seal as well back up leave your brothers and sisters alone y'all saw that he really tried to get a fast one on him Okay, then I have this super cute little bat guy from, Pavel thinks they're all toys and they're not, they're not toys. But Paul definitely ate this up last year. <clears throat> I just like, he kind of looks like a Totoro. Like, I love him. He looks a little bit like Totoro in bat form instead of chinchilla. And of course I have my Hello Kid Ace, which need their rightful spots on the windowsill as well. This one, you know, then the little bat friend. So cute. I love a good windowsill decoration. Then we got Hello Fall, which I'm literally gonna hang right here. Ooh. Cute. Then we have a random Halloween jar for candy that I'm gonna set right here. So cute. He also got this little Frankenstein baby, 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 baby. I'm gonna set him right there. And in fact, I think I'm gonna move some of those over here because it's open more. Probably just the Hello Kitties though, because they're a little short over here, I think. So cute, I could actually die. Oh goodness. Aw, I think I'm gonna move Totoro Bat over here too because he's really tiny. Oh yeah, so cute. And of course we have our Eye of Newt, which I think I'm going to put on the candle thing because I just feel like it's fitting. One tote empty. I wish I was recording, but I flipped this up and there's a freaking spider and I don't know where it is. Oh, it's right there. I'm gonna kill it. I always keep that thing on me. Good enough to get more orange. <gasps> we got the pumpkin mat. We've been needing a doormat so bad. So I'm very thrilled right now. Then I got my favorite pumpkin cookie jar. I got this from that home store. 
And she's my prized possession. Okay, obviously I'm gonna clean this up, but look at these cute placemats. I think I got them from Target too. We got this candy bucket, which I do not know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Then of course we got this light up jack-o-lantern, which is definitely going on the mantelpiece, front and center. <laughs> got this from Target last year. She's chilling on the couch, of course. We got a scale of dragon, which the top is missing, but we're gonna put it over here by our friend, Eye of Newt, and they're gonna chill. Obviously, we have to spookify the bedroom a little bit as well. So, got these little guys. And then I'm going to put my two little pumpkin succulents on either side. So, got the cute little punky succulents over here. I do not remember where I got these. I think Hobby Lobby. That home store. I don't know, but girl. I'm going to go ahead and put our pumpkin LED friend also by the candles on this side. Cute. So I put this pretty pumpkin and that pretty pumpkin. And I think it completes it perfectly. I mean, come on. That one's from Hobby Lobby. That one's from the at-home store. I got these adorable ghosty friends last year from Home Goods as well. And I know this is a mess. We're gonna clean after so that it's like actually proper and pretty. But I'm gonna start decorating this sort of thing a little bit better. I also found the scale of dragon um, plug thing. So now they're twins painted this little glow-in-the-dark cat Halloween pumpkin friend last year as well. This one's from Michaels. Obviously, I painted it, and it's beautiful. And it also lights up. Hold on. It also lights up, but this one's cooler because it lights up in different colors. So I'm going to put him right there. I feel like that's real cute. Obviously, once the raid's gone, it'll look a lot better, but... Okay, and the last two items... I don't know why I thought I had way more, but I guess I don't, which is honestly a good thing. Um, but I have this cute little sparkly pumpkin, which I'm actually going to put on my desk right here because it fits and just adds a little bit of fall spice right there. And then my prized possession, this cute little Snoopy soap holder that really needs desperately cleaned. This is going to add some spice to our kitchen, but obviously I'm going to clean it first. Once again, ignore the disgustingness, but there she is, all clean. Okay, y'all, so I'm really disappointed because I had some Snoopy Halloween, like, towels for the bathroom, and I cannot find them. And I am heartbroken, to say the least. Um, I've looked pretty much everywhere that I think that they could be, and I have not found them. So, I'm probably gonna look in, like, two more places, and then I'm just gonna buy new ones. So, I didn't find them, but I know that they're in this house somewhere, so I'm not gonna buy the exact same ones. Um, I'm just gonna buy different ones, and then Halloween decorating shall be complete. So excited. So, it's still a mess, but this is pretty much the overall so far. I might add more decorations, I don't know. But we got the cute little guys. Uh, on the windowsill, you know. Yeah, no. Then we got the cute little pumpkin mantelpiece display. The cute leaves over here. Cute leaves. We have this, which is a freaking mess, but you get the point with the placemats and the froggy. Then we have this super cuteness. You know, just real cute. Then we have our hanging <laughs> stuffies of Mickey and Snoopy in their cute little ghost and pumpkin bags. And then we come over to the kitchen. We have our cute little Snoopy soap. And that's for the most part it. We did put a little bit in the bedroom. You know, succulents and then glittery pumpkin. So thank you guys so much for watching. I did end up buying these cute little towels from Home Goods. I'm a huge fan. Love them. Um, and then I bought a candle, which I want to show you guys. And we also went to the Children's Museum, which that'll be the next video after this one. And I already showed you this in that video, so that's why it's kind of going to be a little off. But we got this little pumpkin candle to, or not pumpkin, ghosty candle to add to the collection and it smells so freaking good 
Um, I might get more. I want to get a blanket really bad because all my spooky blankets are upstairs. Hanging from the ceiling because Taylor wanted them there. So I want more for the actual couch where they're supposed to go. Anyway, I'm probably gonna wait for Target and I'll show you guys in a future video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know I look dusty, musty, crusty right now, so sorry. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I cannot wait to see you guys the next time. Look at my nails. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.